you for your second, Katie. If Katie could be joined by the other board members of the Reclamation Project, including Jim, our vice chair, and Tom, our treasurer, and Matt McFay, one of our board members. Well, here. They can just get together here for a second. These are four of our board members, our volunteers, who um, just this year, a few months ago, came together to create the Community Advisory Board, one of the boards of the Science Museum that aims to generate awareness about this important activity. It's an activity that engages people in community to work with an artist and scientist to buy or remediate. And these four leaders and the other members of our board work together to bring this project into schools, into community. There's a bunch of Herald articles and cover stories here that tell you a little bit about how we work with parks, with schools, with mayor's offices, uh, with Chamber of Commerce, just basically in schools and community to generate awareness about our connection with the natural world. And this is of great importance to all of us, and particularly, I think, to the people in the audience tonight. I remember when I was a law student that was a officer in the law student division, and uh, Sandy Dallenberg spoke about the need to kill all the lawyers. <laughs> and he did that at the uh, National Public Interest uh, Research Group convention that I was at. And as this, you know, young, you know, kid, 2L, 3L, I forget what I was, here's, you know, the president of the American Bar Association talking about this. Of course, he was alluding to Shakespeare. And the fact that the way to make society not happen, the way to get rid of the rule of law, but to make sure that we as a society don't function with one another, is to get rid of that one element of society that keeps it together. And that's why tonight, the Reclamation Project honors the lawyers, honors the members of the bar. And it's so great for you to be here. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was in Helsinki uh, at the U.S. Embassy talking about the Reclamation Project in the very room where the SALT II treaties were negotiated. And back then in the 70s, we all worried. We all worried about nuclear proliferation. We worried about how our world and our kids and our life was going to move forward when there were these two superpowers aiming nuclear missiles at each other. And in that very room, you know, with people of the embassy and some eco artists in Helsinki, we were talking about this generation's nuclear scare, this generation's global problems. And of course, it's global climate change. And we planted a tree just like the trees that we had over here, except of course it wasn't one of this, it was one made at the Helsinki, as a way of trying to engage community in bioremediation, teach people about the importance of connecting with nature, doing all the things that you read about every day, because now it's cool to be brain. But we want to be more than just be cool. We actually want to be active and we want to be engaged and involved. So tonight, the Reclamation Project invites you, the lawyers, people that help us glue our civil society together, to take the lead on this, for you to join the Reclamation Project. And you can talk to any of our board members, you can talk to our museum, the one president, you can talk to me, a little bit about how you can get involved. Or you can talk to John Contestanini, who is our coordinator. You probably replied to him. That's the John behind John at ReclamationProject.net on how you can get involved. There's a handful of ways that you can do that. You can join us on August 24th as we collect new mangrove seedlings to be placed all over Lincoln Road and schools and back here. You can join us at the end of September when we plant these 1,100 mangrove seedlings on this game bay. Think about that for one second. Each of these seedlings will become a habitat for stingrays and pelicans and fish. Each one of these seedlings will stand against the barricaded concrete seawall that we put on this game bay to try to rebuild our ecosystems for future generations. Each one of these seedlings is going to stand and face rising sea levels as a polar cap snow. Each one of these seedlings, hopefully, is going to have one of your names on it, because we're inviting you to adopt them for $25 each and put them on Biscayne Bay in the name of your kid or yourself. Or how cool is a law firm where to buy a seedling for every one of his clients? How cool is that? <laughs> I didn't win the case, but look, we've got a period of our life. Wherever you're going to be growing trees on Biscayne Bay. So we invite you to do all those things, and you can do that by going to reclamationproject.net, and that is my shameless pitch. And it's shameless because we need to. This museum doesn't belong to anyone. It belongs to everyone. And this museum has this beautiful project that engages community in not just coming and looking at an artifact or seeing how much it costs, but literally having you touch that artifact and be a part of nature in your community. 
And a lot of you know that because a lot of you came here as little kids. I did when I was a fourth grader. A lot of you have those experiences you shared with Eric that as you were in your summer camp. A lot of you remember that thing that is no longer a polar bear, even though I thought it was a polar bear. So all of us have memories of the museum, and as adults, now you're invited to create new memories and to create new relationships. So the table over there, and John, raise your hand again. John is sitting there with a little credit card machine. For $25, you can walk away with a card today, and one of these guys will be yours on this team bay. Importantly, you can also tell us if you want to get involved, and you can sign up online. You can also buy online. And if you really want to go 100%, you can become a member of the museum. And you can just pick one of these up here, and it tells a little bit about our membership benefits and things we can do with the museum. Again, it's my invitation to invite my profession, the legal profession, to do stuff as it does. I mean, those of you that are in this room tonight aren't just the one of the mill attorneys. They're the attorneys that are active in your community. That's why you're a title member. That's why you pay your car fees. And that's why you're here, because you're engaged and involved. So here's an opportunity for you to get involved in yet another venue, a cultural venue, an environmental activity, and be part of this community. And in so doing, as Jillian mentioned, you can continue to set your roots and help grow this community. Thank you so much for being here tonight.